Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning where we will build our brilliance. Because every day we are working towards being brilliant Bobcats. Today we are going to make sure that we are raising the bar and making every moment matter. Let's go ahead and get started with our morning announcements. I'll see you soon. elementary students and staff please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invincible to the truth, this is for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about my new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am an understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. You may be seated for a moment of silence. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school-wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. And our students in the spotlight. Today, scholars, we are spotlighting all of you. On yesterday, we had to put some classes together because we didn't have enough substitutes. And so today, we want to spotlight you for being caught following the 3R approach. Keep up the great work. Tomorrow, scholars, just because you deserve it, we are going red. So go home, check your closet, look under your bed, and find something red to wear to school on tomorrow. And be sure to let your parents know that we're having a We Love Our Parents celebration on Thursday from 4.30 until 7 p.m. Come on out, enjoy something sweet as your parents meet with your teachers. If that was not enough in other school-wide events and activities, on Friday we're having Jersey College Day. So go home and look for something sporty to wear with a pair of jeans on Friday. And our Read to Achieve theme for this week will unveil the theme on tomorrow, but today your challenge is again to read for 20 minutes tonight for homework. Lastly, in our school art events and activities, on next Monday, scholars, you will be out of school 
remind your parents that you will be out of school for President's Day on Monday. But when we return, you will have just two days to get ready for Picture Day. Picture Day will take place on February the 21st. Be sure to tell your parents that you must turn in your money before you can take a picture. You should have taken home your order forms on yesterday. If you need another order form, just see Miss Wheeler in the main office. Today, we have one scholar to celebrate. It was on this day that Talia Hall was born. Talia, we are so excited to have you with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, if you see Talia in the hallway, the cafeteria, outside for recess, even if you don't see Talia until it's time for us to be dismissed from school this afternoon, be sure to give her a special Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you in the room with Talia, right at this moment, help me give her a special Bobcat birthday shout out by turning, pointing to her, and saying, Happy Birthday! Today's Classroom Spotlight goes to our pre-K scholars in Ms. Barrow and Ms. Troxler's classroom. These scholars were caught building their brilliance as they went outside with their clipboards and drew the buildings in our neighborhood. Keep up the great work. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard and we are going to mix it up a little bit. We have been doing a lot of business, but today you must be ready. Today we are going to do the business, and we are going to do the business. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, start. Are you ready? Just a reminder to be free and relaxed in three seconds.
international holidays teachers and scholars today is national apology day an apology is when you say that you are sorry to someone for maybe hurting their feelings saying something that was not appropriate or having any kind of interaction that might make someone not want to be your friend or friendly towards you. Today's challenge is, have you gotten into an argument with a friend? And if so, is there someone that you need to apologize to? Scholars, today is a chance to have a fresh start. Is there anyone in your classroom, in your grade level, that you need to say that you're sorry to? That is the challenge for the day because we want to make sure that everyone has a fresh start today. So look around the room and think about someone that you owe an apology to. It could be your teacher if you did not follow the 3R approach on yesterday. It could be a friend if there was some type of misunderstanding. Remember, for National Apology Day, it is our opportunity to have a fresh start. Today's read aloud is in honor of a national holiday that we didn't discuss today. Today is Mardi Gras Day. Some people call it Fat Tuesday. So today we have a Mardi Gras theme book called Runaway Beignet. Scholars, have you ever had a beignet? Do you know what it is? It's a type of powdered, powdery, sugary dessert. It kind of looks like a biscuit, but it tastes like a donut. So, today, as you think about today's story, I want you to figure out what you would do if you were given some magic baking powdered sugar. What would you wish for when you shook this magic bacon? powdered sugar. What would you wish for? Well, today, our main character gets a wish. I wonder what he will wish for. Teachers, today's read aloud is 8 minutes and 34 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our letter sounds video for our pre-K and K scholars. We have our phonics video for our scholars in grade one. We are multiplying by seven with our seven facts football for our scholars in grade three and for our scholars in grades four and five. We are continuing to view, review science. Today, we are reviewing the constellations with a video that is entitled, Why Do Stars Move? Now, we had a little snow. If you were outside about 5, between 5 and 8 p.m. on last night, you would have seen the snow on the ground. So, it might yet still be a little bit muddy. So, we still have some brain breaks that we are including so that we can have just a little bit of fun on the inside if you don't have inside games for your scholars to play teachers. Now scholars, on tomorrow we have a very special, lovely holiday. You want to make sure that you are behaving because you have the opportunity this week to have not one, not two, but possibly three treats. So, Make sure that you are following the 3R approach because I would hate for us to have to pass you by. But remember, if you treat us well, we treat you well. But if you don't treat us well, we will pass you by when we have treats. So today is another opportunity for you 
to follow the three R approach and do what is right just because you should be doing the right thing every day. We will be around soon. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.